What's up, fam? It's Georgia, and we're back for another episode of, I don't know, Georgia Kate's Life. Like, <laughs> at this point, I have zero idea what the fuck I'm doing with this YouTube channel. I am just going to do extended videos of my life and what's going on with me, and I guess, you know, tutorials here and there of my OF, and yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Today we're going to talk about the Charles the Chalazian cyst fucking saga. Um, if you have recently subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's likely that you have found your way here via the chaos that was Charles the Chalazian cyst and the squeezing or the lack thereof. Um, a lot of you were extremely offended that I didn't pop my eye cyst, trust me, bitch, I tried. But you know, as life goes, sometimes we don't always get what we want. And as hard as I fucking tried, um, we didn't get that big motherfucking pop. We just got a slow oozing of liquid, but I think we're jumping ahead. So I thought that I'd get on here and explain to you all what the fuck happened and how it came about. So let's get a drink. I've got my Coke. Don't I, Genghis? Genghis will be loitering about. He is part of my aesthetic today. Um, we have a Coke and you can have whatever you like. Go and get your drink and we will have a chit chat about Charles. So it all started when I woke up one morning uh, and discovered that my eye was big. I woke up and looked at myself and I have a fat eye. That was normal. That one's fat as fucking bitch it hurts. Someone help me. What's going on? What's going on with my yeah, it was, it was just big and fat and sore, just like a generalized reddening of the entire eyelid. And my initial thought was, okay, I have a sty. Um, because I've had a sty before, I think, a very long time ago. And I just had just moved. I was exhausted. I was run down. And I had just finished settling into the new apartment. And then I went to bed. Oh, the day before I had gone and what did I do? I went and got my nails done and I went to the shops as well. And I remember feeling like I had like a, a lash that was kind of poking me in the eyelid or like just feeling a bit sore. So I, when that happens, I feel like when I need my lashes refilled, I typically get uncomfortable. They get itchy. They get weird. They stand out at different angles and shit. And so I go and get them, you know, the shit one's taken off and, you know, refilled. And so I just put it down to an out of place lash um, and that was poking me in the eyelid and making me uncomfortable. So um, I didn't go to the lash place that day. I just went home and finished what I was doing that day and then went to bed and then woke up with a big red fat eye. And so I figured it was just the sty developing. So over the next few days, it kind of settled down in the swelling and it localized as a red little bump near my actual eyelid on the lash line underneath on the inside of my eye. So I figured that out because people on TikTok after I did that, that initial video of my fat red eye, um, people were saying it's a sty and, you know, look at on the inside of your eye. So I pulled up my lid and this, this is what I found. Oh, OMG, I was wondering what a style was and then I started digging around when I saw your comment and look, there it is, there. It's got a white head and everything. Gross. Okay, update on the sty situation. This is day two of the sty and I now have two white heads on my eyelid pimple or two eyelid pimples or two styes. 
Eagles. Or two stars. Okay, update on the star situation. Ow, dingus. What the fuck? So over the next few days, it really localized into one white-headed pimple on the inside of my eyelid. And oh, the temptation to pop with a needle was immense. However, I did not do it because I thought it will go down. It's on the inside of my eyelid. I'm not sticking anything on the inside of my eyelid. That's just a bit too much for me. And so I just let it, let it be. And so for the next two weeks, this fucking sky continued to be present on my eye space and annoying the fuck out of me. And here's me trying to make content as a content creator and with this fucking huge eye. And I, you know, I have an OnlyFans page and I was like avoiding putting up content or making new content. I was recycling old content because I couldn't fucking (laughs) make new content with this monstrosity on my eyeball. And so it was getting really frustrating and really annoying. And so I was wondering when it would fucking go. It just continued and continued. I I was making TikToks because I document my life and whatnot. But, yeah, it was really fucking with me, to be honest, guys. So I think about three weeks in to the fat eye situation, I was going to work with this fucking huge eye and my nursing friends were all like, just let us take to it with a blade, babe. We'll just lay it down on the table We'll get some fucking eye ointment on there, some eye solution, and we will go for guns. And I was not about that. I need full control over my own body and I can't allow people to poke me in the eyeball. Um, I will do that. I'll leave it to myself to do. But, like, it was looking horrendous. It was starting to move now from the inside of my eyelid up to the top part of my eye and it was forming like a white head on top of my eyelid and guys when I tell you it looked disgusting Ah! I ain't lying and I just I'm not about that aesthetic I just need to get rid of shit and it was starting to throb as well and I could just feel it there and it was sore it was sore and fuddly guys it just had to go That is when we called the doctor because it was hurting. I figured because it had stayed here for so long, there must be an infection happening. And so I called the doctor and the doctor said it could be one of two things. It could be a sty, which is what I thought it was, or a Chalazian or Chalazian, however the fuck you pronounce it, cyst. And he was like, the other one, you will need to get cut out. But what we will do is start with oral antibiotics. And so he prescribed me an oral anti and I was like, cool, I'm not getting my face cut open by a surgeon. I'm I'm good, I'm good. And so I, I, but you know, obviously if it got to that, of course I would go and get medical attention. I'm not insane. I just know how my body works. Um, I've popped many a pimple on my body on my bowl day in my time. I squeezed many a lump and bump in my time on my own bowl day. And I know how I heal. I squeeze it, it heals, the end. And so, and usually I respond extremely well to oral antibiotics. So I figured it'll be fine. So I started on the antis and it took a while to clear up, but it did eventually clear up with the help of a pop. The doctor also told me to do warm compresses. So we started doing that and that actually helped draw the white head out a bit more. It actually came to the surface a bit more and looked a bit juicy. You know what I'm saying? Charles popped out to say hello. Hey, I'm here. And so I had my nursing friend over one of those nights on the weekend. And I think this is on the third week of me having this fat eye. And she was like, dude, that is looking so bad. Let me pop it. Let me add it. Let me get in there. Um, And I was like, no, no, I'm good. And so I went into the bathroom to have a look at it. And bitch, it was just singing at me. It was like, "Ah, you need to pop me. And so I went and sterilized the needle and I had a go at popping Charles. This is, be- this is even before the viral video. And when I say viral, I mean I had 3,000 followers on TikTok before I made this popping initial popping video. And after I had 
I think overnight I got like 25,000 followers. Um, and then by the end of, I mean, up to now, I've got almost 50,000 followers. Like people are obsessed with pimples and I don't know what to do with you all. I just don't know. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> so when I did the initial popping, yeah, there was a lot that came out and my friend came in and she absolutely frothed over the whole process and got in there too with her <laughs> fucking thumbs. And we got a significant amount of pus out off camera. And so I thought that would be the end of it. I felt like I felt really fucking good after that. I felt like the pressure behind the skin, you know, was less. And so I was like, yeah, maybe that will help just clear the clear the past, clear the infection and it'll start to heal. The next day, though, by the end of it, it was back to being like like a pulsating sore whitehead. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, there is more in this cunt. And so I was like, you know what? I have put up with you, Charles, for more than enough time. You have lingered on my eye space for millennia, it seems like. It is time for you to go. And so I made that TikTok, and here it is. Right, fucking update on this motherfucker of a thing. I've been dealing with this thing for like over a week now, and we've come to the conclusion after some research that it's a Chalazian cyst and not a sty. God help me. So the game plan is apparently you can do hot compresses and massage it because it is a blocked oil gland. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do hot compresses and then we're going to pop this motherfucker. It's time to go Chalazian. I'm gonna take to it with a fucking needle and we're gonna squeeze the juices out of this bitch. Do not try this at home, I am a trained professional. Not really, I don't work with eyes, but I am a nurse, so we'll just go with that. I'm already on oral antibiotics, so that should help with any fucking introduced infection from the needle. I have Clawsig, which is an antibiotic ointment, and I have saline, so we should be good to go. Wish me luck. So from that moment on, I was documenting the saga of Charles the Calasian cyst. Yeah, and I had no idea it would blow up this much. Like that initial video I think has got, it now has 3 million views. That's insanity. That is 3 million fucking people give a fuck about Charles. Like what? What? Yeah, since then I've been documenting it. My page has absolutely taken off. Um, I don't know what to do with them all, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, all the advice and all of the criticisms have come my way post blowing up on TikTok and even on YouTube. Like, I mean, after that initial video, like the comments were, you must film it, film it, film it, film it. And I thought, okay, I will film it. Hence the documenting of Charles. But, you know, I filmed the second pop I put it on TikTok and TikTok did not like the, the the needle entering my eye. They thought that it was a bit much with their community guidelines. And so I put it on YouTube. And guys, the YouTube comments, brutal. Like you guys are a next level breed of nasty. Um, I thought TikTok was bad, but no. The mature age fucking boomers got on my YouTube and fucking came at me. And I'm like, cool, I can handle it. But I think I'll utilize this video to respond to some of these haters. 10 minutes of my life, I will never get back. Well, guess what, bitch? You didn't have to fucking watch it in the first place. Like, you chose to sit there for the 10 fucking minutes and watch it, okay? Your choice, not fucking mine. Full disclosure, I attempted to pop the cyst. I did not pop the cyst. Anything for 10.04 seconds of epic fail fame on YouTube. Hey. Yes, bitch. <laughs> so dangerous. The poking my expose her eye to her worst infection. I had mine removed by an ophthalmologist the proper way. Do you want a fucking medal? It's my eye, guys. Like, I don't know why you're all so fucking concerned. I'm a nurse. I know how to lance stuff. Y'all may not believe me but I do know how to lance a cyst, an abscess. I know how to do it. And I was on antibiotics and you know, why are you so concerned? Like everyone's different and you don't have a fucking answer to my problem. You really don't. Like you know what's good for you and I know what's best for me. So it was my own personal damn fucking choice. And I suggest you go and fucking take your own damn eyelid to the doctors. Okay, you did that, great. It's the self-righteousness for me. Like, good for her. Did you get a fucking medal and a lollipop when you went there? Like, the fuck?
fuck. By the way, my eye is fine. So there's that. Take your fake eyelashes off. It would probably be a lot easier. Einstein. The fuck? Can you calm down? Zen. Find your zen. Like, how has this video offended you so much that you have to capitalize your fucking words? By the way, Michael Mitchell, my eyelashes didn't cause the infection. They've been on the entire time. It cleared up quite well with them on. I had my eyelashes on for weeks and weeks prior to the bump appearing. Um, it wasn't the technician as a result. It wasn't the fucking eyelashes. Okay, I'm telling you because you need to understand that it was not my eyelashes, I assure you. But I feel like people want to come for the lashes because they're jealous as fuck. But I feel like people are coming for the lashes, like obsessively coming for the lashes because they are extremely misogynistic or jealous. Like, why are you so obsessed with what I put on my damn face? Like, I don't understand the obsession. I feel like you might have some fucking bills to pay or a job to attend or some fucking books to read or something some shopping to do, anything other than fucking sitting on your fat asses and bitching in my comment section about my fucking eyelashes. Nobody asked you your opinion about whether or not I should have eyelashes that are false on my face. I, cr I really don't remember asking anyone for their advice. Irritating and annoying. How about you spend the 10 minutes other have listening to your own whiny voice and foolish banter? I'm sorry, I don't understand your English. I actually happily listen to my own whiny voice and foolish banter. I actually think I'm funny as fuck. I actually watch my TikToks over and over again because I get so much joy out of watching my own damn fucking self. Um, so I will do that. Thanks. Sorry, not sorry, you find me irritating and annoying. I guess you should just fuck off then, eh? It's just so funny to me that people fucking get on, like, get in the comment section just to spread really negative shit. Like, I've never done that to someone. I don't have the fucking time to waste. The only time I have is for positivity and fun. Like, I don't have any time to sit there and bring another person down. Like, how fucking sad can you be with your life? Like, Get, find your self-esteem hidden in your fucking sock drawer or something. Jesus, I fell asleep. Cool, cool beans, good news. Thanks for the information. Stupid video. Get rid of the makeup and long nails, I roll. It's okay, some doctors will gladly charge you for an infection. In fact, all doctors will. That's kind of our healthcare work. And also, no. Don't think I will. What a stupid thing to do. Much like your comment in my comment section. Your nails make it unsatisfying. Good bitch! I hope you stay unsatisfied for your entire existence. Stupid trying to pop with your nails. Well, thanks. Gee, thanks for your valuable input. <laughs> if she would have shut up more and spent the time trying to pop it instead of talking shite. She could have bought it to pop. Wow. Get up out of the wrong side of the bed this morning, babe. People are so angry. Why are you so angry? What happened to you in your life? The fuck? Am I the only one that thinks she should remove her fake eyelashes? No, bitch! You and the whole universe! <laughs> ah, I'm not doing it, okay? I refuse! By the way, just got my eyelashes refilled. Also, I have glitter freckles, so I'm sure some of you will have problems with that also. Moving on. I think they're fabulous. And that is all that matters. Disappointing. Right back at you, babe. Democrats? The fuck? Anyway, that's just some of the bullshit I've had to deal with over Charles the Chalet's insist. 
Um, anyway, after I popped it, I popped it again and I put that one on TikTok as well. Uh, cue more hate. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Just kidding, I am really fine. I don't give a fuck. And then the antibiotics obviously kicked in and it just started to go down and more down and more down. It resolved. And so all of you who suggested I go to the doctor, thank you for your valuable input, but obviously I didn't need to. Obviously I didn't require it. And perhaps, just maybe, I knew what I was doing. So all up, I think the saga of the cyst, which I don't think was a cyst anymore. I think it was just a sty. Well, who fucking knows? We don't really know what happened. Like some people have had Chalazian cysts and um, have gone away with hot compresses and just time. And other people have had to have them cut out. It really is relative. Like it really just depends on the person. And I was lucky enough not to have to go into the ophthalmologist and get it removed because apparently they flip your eyelid inside out and cut it out that way. And apparently you get a big black eye. And so I'm grateful to not have had to endure that because we can get back into content creating and not look like fucking Quasimodo. Um, so that's it from me. Um, thanks for listening. I hope this cleared up a few things. It, I, once again, it wasn't the lashes. Okay. Just had them reset, as you can see. Just had the nails done as well. I know that really pisses off some of you, but that actually warms my heart and my soul. If you enjoyed this, why don't you give this video a like? If you didn't, I guess there's a thumbs down button, whatever. If you uh, want to see more from me, I'm going to do a apartment tour very soon, for my new apartment. Click the subscribe button. And if you want to check out any of my socials, I'll link them down below. I have an OnlyFans. You can check that out too. If you want to support me, follow me on Insta. I do lots of nice little photo shoots there. And if you can follow me on TikTok, we do lives on there and we do lots of funny shit. Uh, we have a good time on there. So thanks again for watching, guys. Stay real. Don't listen to the hate and stay real. Ow! Yes, the glitter freckles, oh yeah.